Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, guys. What's up? Jay Levine. Man. In the house, in the house. How's it going, How man? Did it, How did, car, you, but... did you get that? Did you get that uh, that that did you get to go back to that meeting? To that for that we listing? Got, we got the listing. Atta boy, did you get it for the price that you wanted or the price that she wanted? Somewhere in between, but we got the agreement that uh, we got a, a a handshake that is going down at a certain date. It uh it actually it kind of worked out. Uh, it worked out well uh, with uh, with the timing of it. Um, we're not we're not listing it for a couple more weeks until it's painted and things of that nature. So uh, I think timing wise, it'll be beginning of February. And if we get no action for the first month, uh, we'll drop it and we'll be right in uh, March, April, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So you know, a little bit more than I wanted, but I wanted to get this listing for my uh, for my agent. But the funny thing is, I, I did nothing. I when I went I went in there the next day um, after we spoke. Oh, ironically, I'll jump jump to this. I sent her a video, and yeah, uh, she he, got she got scared and canceled it. Yeah, canceled I heard. <laughs> I heard. I heard. I was on that call when you said that. Yeah, but you so, know what? Uh, At the end of the day, it is that that whole ecosystem merger, right? That you're trying to do with her, get because she's got she's got a lot of uh, she's got a, a big sphere of influence. So you want to yes. that? So good for you. Yeah, Thanks. but it worked out really well. And the, the best part about it, the, the biggest win for me was after all said and done, I asked her. I said you know at what point did you uh did you know you were going to be listing with us and she told me that was after she spoke to my agent jerry that first day and that day there was no real estate dis uh discussed so uh she got the deal just built just solely on building rapport so awesome big win. rapport is everything we know that right Absolutely. Awesome. good job man thanks for, thanks for checking in of course so who else is on here nick champagne is on here hey, yeah. what's up brother how are you See you tomorrow. If I was any better, I'd be twins. Absolutely. <laughs> that's so funny you say that. I was in a meeting yesterday with somebody that's uh, much taller than me, and my client thought it would be funny to take a picture of us next, like next to one of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Right, yeah, yeah, Danny DeVito. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, nice. Now it's 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 something I started saying a couple a couple of years ago. There's a couple of lines that I, I give back to people when they ask, and that's one of them because if I was any better, there'd be two of me, right? Is 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 really the the definition to that. So, you know, you got to look at. Listen, it's a beautiful day. I woke up. I'm, you know, it's it's another day above ground. It's a great day. Another another yeah, it looks day. Really, it looks really beautiful. Pull out. I haven't stepped outside well, it is. here. It's very cold. I did my walk at 6:30 this morning, and it was 21 degrees. So, yeah, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the geese in the water, saying, "What are you doing there?" But hey, I'm not. Where do you live, Tony? I, I'm in Bedminster, New Jersey. So it's a Got it's it. a very it's horse cool. country. It's horse country, New Jersey. Close enough to everything, but far enough away. Very nice. There's not a cloud in the sky over here by me in the Milford. Oh. Not a cloud. Yeah, no, it's absolutely. You know, I, I, I did. I, so I do these morning talks and sometimes I post them on the unblinded page. And yesterday it was cloudy. So we haven't really had this is the first open uh, sunrise we've had. But the sunrise we had yesterday was kind of closed up. But I, I mm -hmm. can it to, you know, but there was also a lot more color. You know, and people think that they always want cl clear skies. But the reality is a lot of beauty comes from those cloudy skies. So this morning yeah. sunrise was it was nice, but it was like, eh. No, nothing going on but yesterday when the sun finally started coming through man the colors are just amazing i've, I've become a sunrise guy i've become uh, i was never a morning person until well recently so nice. well, a couple years now but sunrises good thing every everyone you get to see is a good one it's true so yeah excited for tomorrow very excited for tomorrow we'll all get to see the sunrise tomorrow <laughs> right <laughs> on the drive in if if you're smart and you want to beat the traffic anyway otherwise you know everybody will be registering at 9 30. i'm leaving tonight are you no no <laughs> i was gonna say dude are you walking <laughs> i'm only 50, I'm, I'm only i'm only probably you know 20 minutes away so i don't think i need to leave tonight but yeah I'm, we'll, we'll be i'll be there uh, really early uh, my wife uh unfortunately not unfortunately but we have to drop up the kids at school so she'll be uh i'll, I'll head over first and then she'll follow yeah, we're going to probably head out around 6, 6.30, 6.15, 6.30, because that 7, 7.15 is a witching hour on Route 3. So, you know, that can be the difference yeah. between, uh, between a short commute and what the hell happened. So, all good, all good.
Well, I'm, hey, still, looking at the moon. Yeah. I'm still looking at the moon over here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, morning, Good morning, morning. Michael. Hey, 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 Tony. Tony. Yes, we are right now at Newark Airport. It is cold. I need some hot sauce. I need some heat. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to New Jersey. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. There she is, wearing a little a little girl in the hood. <laughs> That's You've awesome. got like the a blessing of the Lord on you. Look at that light. I do. You know, I always there's always great light coming into my kitchen. And hold on. Yeah. There's what is great, happening? There's, there's even better. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, it's hello. Fernando in the house. Who's yeah. lovely voices? Hello. Yeah. Sounds like Tony. Good morning. Good morning. And Jay Levine. What is happening? Unblinded trajectory Thursday. We are twenty. For a little under 24 hours left to the beginning of the beginning, more like 23 and a half um, of the greatest ecosystem merger on the planet ever, period. And I'm so grateful that all of you are going to be joining us in this amazing movement. Um, the energy is high. The Facebook group is moving. The customer service line is off the hook. People are calling, asking questions. It is nonstop. We are crushing every single goal that we've set and had. The team is at the at the Sea Caucus. Half the team is at the Sea Caucus Meadowlands Expo Center, making things happen. The other half is at the Nerve Center, continuing to say help people get from hello to yes, and continue to serve you know our community and everyone that's going to be joining us. People are flying in from Hawaii, Florida, California, Washington, Texas. See, um, I already said Washington, Seattle. There's so many different places. So exciting, and I'm just so present and grateful because it took all of you, every single one of you on this call has at some capacity made this happen and it would not be a reality without any of you. And I wanna take a second to just let that land and please receive thank you from Unblinded, from Fernando, from everyone that you've spoke to, every leader in this movement, thank you for your energies, your questions, your commitment to this call. It is just amazing. I've never seen an ecosystem as lit up, as connected, and as willing to support and say yes to every single member. Then this group, pause, it's 8.30. Sean, are you here with us? All right, so let's jump in. I'd like to hear some shares, um, and I would like to open it up to someone who's never spoken. Maybe this is your first call. I know we have a lot of people, and all of you, we'll give a few seconds to our originals and our leaders, you know, take it. But to anyone who is like never spoken, new to this group, I know someone's on a train, Julian, like coming up here from Florida on a train. Um, if there's anyone that's never spoken or that's new to this group, please, what are you present to? What are you feeling? Um, what are you excited about about this weekend? Who is someone new who has never spoken that would like to take this opportunity and share what they're present to on this call and on this unblinded movement? Ready, go. <laughs> Hey, this is KC McBride. What's happening, KC? Doing, our, doing wonderful. Just got here at Newark, uh, getting ready to be picked up, and super excited about this week, anticipating great things, great connections, and just super excited to take in all this content and take it back home and apply it to our ecosystem. That is I'm just Casey, dude, you and Yamile, I'm just so grateful. And, you know, Sean said it yesterday and Jared put it in the group and I made a Facebook video about it. Um, we have a beautiful opportunity to submit a question to be recognized on stage with Jay Abraham and Sean. Um, on my request and our request is take that opportunity, uh, one, to have the chance to be on stage, but mainly let's say that doesn't happen. Two, let's get laser focused on what you want to get from this event. Content, ecosystem, that is happening 100% like all certainty, no doubt whatsoever, that's happening. But unblinded wins, when you win, this is about you, your money, your time, your magic. What is the one question you want answered? What is the one breakthrough that I've had on these three days would make a lasting difference in your business and life? Um, so Sean, another check-in, are you here with us? 
All right, so let's go to one more share and then we'll kick it to Jared. What is one breakthrough, one question that if answered would make the greatest impact on your life and business? Who is someone that like, would like to share? Ready, go. Press that red button. Who's gonna share? Sorry about that, you have uh, Fernando, it's Craig. What was that, what hey. was that question that you just asked? The question that I just asked, Craig, what's happening, brother, is what is the one question that you're going to submit for the potential intervention with Sean Callagy and Jay Abraham? And whether that happens or not, what is the linear focus, the fanatical focus? What is the one question, one breakthrough that it had this weekend would leave the greatest difference on your life and business when we are walking in prepared to receive magical things align? So my question, Craig, directly is what is the one breakthrough that you're gonna have this weekend that would make the greatest difference in your life and business? What is the one step that is, or the one part of my mindset that's holding me back from adding the most value to the people around me? Hey. What's happening, Good morning, Sean? guys. Hey. hey good, good morning, Craig, thank you for that. I was on a little ago, then got dropped, and here we go. Um, so we complete with that, Thanks. Craig and Fernando, or not yet? Uh, yes, he was sharing the one question, yes. the one thought. What would be, what would cause the, the greatest difference in his ecosystem and is his life? And then you jumped in. Um, so let's go, take it away. Yeah, well, Craig, thank you, Fran, thank you. So everybody, one day to go. Um, this is not the phone call in the huddle that I thought I'd be having uh, the day before or ready to go. But I want to be, guys, just mute. There's a little bit of, uh, I think somebody chatting in the background that may think they're muted. So, what Tiffany should mute everybody because I think we have somebody who's unaware that they are mute uh, or unmuted. Okay, so coming into today, I expect this to be okay. Hey, let's go. Um, but I got a bigger gift than that, and because for some we go through extraordinary self mastery challenges and things happen in our lives, and at times it may cause us to see things through a completely different prism. In fact, our self mastery controls the prism through which we see things. So last night, um, I was given an unbelievable gift of uh, one of the most extraordinarily painful and challenging um, ongoing encounters in, uh, in my entire life. And it started occurring. I allowed it to begin to occur around 9 p.m. And I was engaged in it until close to 3 a.m. this morning. And a part of integrity-based human influence and everything we talk about here is the ability to have transparency and share reality. So out, out, outcomes from this conversation or purposes of this, right? One, um, even within the formula, we never become a robot. We never become uh, perfect. There's always opportunities for growth and there's always things that happen. Uh, two, um, hopefully everybody gets and sees that we live in a reality here not in some made up fan fantasy world where everything is perfect and there are no challenges because that was the absolute, if you would have like calculated besides risk or harm to somebody in my family physically, the absolute last thing that I would have wanted to have happen um, and in my prep time and just massively focused and engaged was allowing something like what transpired to transpire. Three, um, it was with somebody that I care about and love very dearly and deeply. And it was a remarkable um, opportunity to deal with all the levels of self mastery that we possibly could. Four, um, I was unable for a long period of time, far longer than my level of mastery um, I should have been to uh, work my way out of it and through it. And five, because of that, I kept Tiffany, Ben, and Nicole um, waiting for hours um, until I finally said, hey, guys, like, we have to, you know, cut it. We'll pick it up in the morning. And I apologized for um, my distraction and my being engaged in that entire situation. And I want to acknowledge Tiffany and Nicole um, and Ben for their um, amazing contributions um, during yesterday and for their having um, been as supportive and kind and thoughtful and caring as they were in the entire situation. 
Um, and that guy, guy remains confidential what that situation was, um, you know, Tiffany Colben. And I also um, want to acknowledge Jared, who jumped in extraordinarily, and this is going somewhere, right? So um, who jumped in and also was a part of uh, helping me get back into my self-mastery and see what I wasn't seeing. Um, I also want to thank Mona um, for her support and her patience and contribution um, in, in the entire situation, which was uh, extraordinary and much appreciated. And then finally, um, this morning, I still woke up um, feeling charged, engaged, and, um, you know, just really, really um, at a heightened level still. And as I was uh, putting boundaries in place, and which I should have done much, much earlier in the process, and I was still engaged in it early, early this morning, um, Michael Smiken, um called. And Michael Smiken, I just want to acknowledge you, brother, and thank you for um, your self-mastery, your commitment to the formula, your confronting me in ways I've confronted you for a decade, and your support, and it was remarkable. And every one of the people I just mentioned is absolutely extraordinary. And Michael, I wanna share with you, for those that don't know you nearly as well as some of the other people I mentioned, that the heart of a lion beats inside of this man, and he defines courage and loyalty and self-sacrifice and friendship and everything you could possibly imagine and what he also represents, and so to all the people I just mentioned on this call, is why these huddles and the unblinded movement is what it is. Because when life is gonna happen, right? And life is always happening for us, but sometimes it doesn't feel that way. And sometimes it feels extraordinarily painful and complicated. And sometimes we lose our self-mastery. And sometimes we're having a very difficult time getting it back in times and windows that we don't have time not to have it. And Michael was the final critical piece in reminding me and confronting me and challenging me in love with brilliant expertise, amazing empathy, amazing listening, and every single move that was made in that conversation was masterful. And Michael just came off of, also ironically, arguing in front of the New Jersey Supreme Court and we talked about that, and that video should be posted today. But if you want to watch somebody who's been committed to the formula, who lives an extraordinary level of mastery, go watch Michael Smiken and see what it was and understand that he is not only an influence mastery genius, but he is a person of absolute integrity. And he is a hero. And his heroic, unique identity is something that the world needs to know and understand. As it does with every other person I mentioned, Ben, Tiffany, Nicole, Jared, Mona, I cannot thank each and every one of you enough. And for everything that you've been doing and the sacrifices that you've been making are extraordinary. And I'm immensely grateful as I am for everybody in this huddle. Of course, Fernando and Adam and the beautiful conversations that we had, I can't thank you enough. And for every person in this huddle and every person that's gonna be there. And just a reminder that yeah, we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves for a little bit. But the question is how fast can we get back into the formula and one with each of us in this, with each of us in this, as we rise in our level of mastery, as those people have, and Michael certainly has, we have the ability to support and help one another. And even the person that is seen as the ostensible leader and face of this, me, like I get hit too, and I lose myself because none of us are a 10. I am not, you're not, we're not. We're all at certain levels on the scale of mastery. And sometimes we get hit and we find the most worthy of opponents, the most worthy of opponents, and that's a term I borrowed from Mona, worthy opponents. And I had my most worthy of opponents last night, and I allowed him for a while to win, for a while. And then I found myself, and I still love that person. I love them unconditionally as a beautiful soul, but for each and every one of us, and this is an area of great still opportunity for me, we have to remember healthy boundaries. And we will be ongoingly talking about loving people unconditionally, have, ha having healthy boundaries to go forward. But thank you um, for listening for these few minutes. 
and I want you to please or challenge you or offer you the ability to reflect upon when you lose your self-mastery and wherever it is, just to remember the people on this call. And we have to find it for ourselves. We have to be in it ourselves. And I was working so hard last night. I was at midnight, two o'clock in the morning. I was listening to music. I was getting in state. I was doing everything I know how to do. And 99.999% of the time, I am completely capable of putting myself back in state and living in my self-mastery. And it was elusive. and I couldn't get there yet. I would have gotten there. It would take me a couple more hours this morning. I would have gotten there. But the people here gave me two hours that I needed, that I needed significantly, not desperately significantly, to finally put some uh, finishing touches on some things. And thank you, each of you, and Michael, for putting the exclamation point and bringing me all the way through. So thank you, guys. And Michael, by the way, you out there, brother? I definitely am. Hey. Hey. So, um, yeah, like what's present for you and anything you want to share with uh, the group out there? Yeah, and and by the way, like let me just start by saying I am so very appreciative of you and the beautiful gift that you just gave me and reminding me about my power, my greatness, and and what it looks like when you are living in the formula and doing the things that you need to do to make sure that you're achieving all the results and all the outcomes and all the successes that you want in your life. But I think you know, as I was meditating on on this this morning, you know, I thought to myself that you know there's a gift here and and i've known you for over 10 years now and i know who you are probably better than anybody else in this world and i know you know the beauty and the power and everything that that exists inside of you and and you have always been a person who has wanted nothing right that is who you really are at your core you've always been super generous and generous in ways when nobody's looking um and because of that and because that you've wanted for nothing, you, you have this capability to be grateful for everything that you have and everything that you get. And the, the counter to that is when you want everything. And when that happens, you can't be grateful for anything that you have or anything that you get. And so it's, it is so important to remember that when we talk about what, what the formula is grounded in, that it's grounded in integrity, it's grounded in love, it's grounded in compassion in its purest forms. And, and because of that, it gives you the ability to be grateful and find happiness in everything and anything, personal or professional. And, and I was reminded of that this morning, right? So, so I appreciate you saying that, you know, I helped you and you, you know, I taught you this morning, but the reality is you taught me, right? You taught me this morning. And so that's what, that was my takeaway from, from all of this. Well, well, thank you. And everybody, I am immensely grateful for you and for what we're about to do. So let's snap out of that pattern and that energy, and let's get to this. Tomorrow, we put a flag in the ground and we launch forward together and combine with more than 1,500 other beautiful souls, some of whom have no idea what this is, some of whom have incredible focus and clarity on what this is, but nobody, and I mean nobody, can truly understand what these next three days are gonna do for your life, for your ecosystem, and eventually for the world. And we are gonna go out and create a transformational and transcendent experience of positive energy, of truth, of acceleration, of impact. And we're gonna have a ton of fun. And we're gonna have a ton of excitement and beautiful adventure together over these next three days. And so for today, my challenge to you is to focus, focus at the deepest level on your heart, on your ecosystem, yours. Focus on that and be ready to bring it and bring ecosystems across that room that are going to be merging and always stay independent, right? There's always individuality. There's always independence. There's always you, your ecosystem, and there is one combined ecosystem with which we intersect and merge with unblinded. All individuals, 
with freedom of thought, freedom of choice, ways to assess where we want more money and less time with more magic, and how that all fits into what we want for our life, but collectively knowing there's a way to get there, whatever that more is for us. And there's people and support that are fun, exciting, powerful, remarkable, magical, loving, empathetic, ass-kicking, wild, crazy, and that's all those things are going to happen and so much more. So with that, Jared, any final wrap-up thoughts, calls to action, details to deal with, what's on your heart? Sean, I want to honor you, man. You are as real as they come. That's all I'm going to say. Enough has been said by everybody else. You are as real as they come. Now, it's a big deal. Literally 24 hours, we're rocking. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's almost 9 o'clock. Like, we're rocking. Like, and I want to make sure that lands for everybody. Like, we're rocking. And we're not rocking in, like, a hype way. Because remember, like, no hype, all execution. Like, we're rocking in, it's happening. It's happening. And it's happening because of each and every one of you. Fernando said it perfectly. Like, we got here together, and we're going places together. Our morning call today with the team was the highest energy yet. And I feel weird saying it because I feel like every day I say it was the highest energy yet. But today was like different. Like today, like everyone was like transcending. It's like, we did it. Like we did it. We committed to something and four weeks later it's happening. And we're pushing as hard today as any day. Calling every single one of you, making sure that you have what you need and call us if, if you don't. Like if you're unsure of anything, like call us, call us. I think it's, eight, I'm driving now, it's 863 Unblind. Call us, like ask any questions, but it all goes down tomorrow. Get there as early as possible. The doors open at 7 a.m., get registered, and go meet the sponsors. I mean, these are amazing companies doing transformational things in this world. Like go meet them, talk with them, merge ecosystems with them. We, we heavily curated this group. Like every single sponsor is there for a reason. It is intentional. So spend time with them. Also spend time getting your seats. I mean, the original plan was we were gonna have all these like beautifully reserved seats and then like registration exploded quickly. So it's open seating. So you can sit together, but get there early. Like you could put uh, uh, your, your jackets down and like reserve spots for you and your group. So get there by seven, we're kicking off at nine and it's going to be the single greatest professional development experience of your life. Outside of that, there'll be concession stands open for food. So you'll be able to get food that you want. There's vegetarian options, there's gluten-free options. Um, I think there's every type of dietary uh, need available. They weren't 100% sure on kosher. So if you need kosher food, you should consider bringing that for yourself. Um, drinks have been donated by um, Drink Focus. So it's caffeinated seltzer and there's obviously water and then the concession stands as well. And I do recommend bringing layers because it will be a little bit on the colder side in there. Uh, but our, our energy of being together and merging ecosystems will keep us warm. To action is just get yourself in the state that you need to be in so that you're ready. You're ready for tomorrow and you're ready. Because like Sean said, the flag is in the ground. We're putting it in the ground together. Tomorrow is the official official. And I can't wait to see all of you. Yeah. And Jared and Adam and Fernando and everyone, and Chaz and Ben and Darcy and Krista and the hundred names, I'm not saying Kelly. Thank you. Thank you for everybody on this line whose name I didn't say. Thank you for everybody that's going to be there tomorrow. And we are doing this together. And everybody tomorrow is going to see and understand that this is not about one person. This is about a movement. And this is about an ecosystem that is never endingly expanding of a bunch of beautiful individuals with their own ecosystems coming together to be forces for good and to improve our lives our ecosystems lives and the world. And that's what's happening. And it's like really happening. Like people say that this is what we're actually doing. And thank you, everybody have a beautiful day and let's go get it. And we will have no huddle tomorrow, but we are going to go rock it and rip it open starting tomorrow morning and tear the house down. Thanks. Thank you so much, Sean. Have an amazing day. I love you all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. I'm so forward to seeing everybody. Thanks, everyone. We're at the airport right now boarding the plane. We love you and can't wait to see you. See you manana. Aloha. Bye, everybody. This is what it looks like.